Hello and welcome back to LDT 3135, Practical Project Management. I'm Dr. Tim Boylo, and in this module, our focus is on the technologies used to plan, manage, and monitor communications for a project, as specified in the PMBOK Project Communications Management Processes. As we have experienced in this class, and also in your project development activities, Communications permeate everything we do in project management, and successful communication is enabled by the effective use of technology. This is a relatively short presentation, so let's get to it. Here is our agenda for this module. We begin with a definition of communications technology. Next, we consider what needs to be communicated for the project. The criteria used for communications technology selection. Proximity of team members for synchronous and asynchronous communication. Planning for project complexity and next steps. We use technology to communicate with project team members and stakeholders to help manage the project deliverables. Simply stated, communications technology refers to standards, equipment, and programs that are used to process and communicate information in a project. Communications technology is considered a subset of the discipline of ICT, which stands for Information and Communications Technologies. ICT refers to technologies that provide access to information and facilitate work via the internet, wireless networks, mobile computing devices, cloud services, and other communication mediums. Examples of communication technologies used in this class include Canvas, Trello, Slack, Google Docs, and Zoom. Decisions made with regard to communications technologies are directly related to the information that needs to be communicated for the project. Needs for ongoing project communications management include Project status at the end of each iteration, sprint, or gate review. This is also included in the schedule management section of the project management plan. Project scope statements and updates reflected in the product backlog and also in the scope management section of the project manage management plan. Project risks and mitigation strategies developed in the sprint retrospectives and included in the risk management section of the project management plan. Action items or additions to the product backlog in accordance with the requirements management section of the project management plan. And performance measures for the product increments and requirements using the metrics identified in the quality management section of the project management plan. The project scope and life cycle model will determine the level of detail that needs to be communicated Communication requirements are fully detailed in the communications management section and other subsidiary management sections noted, which all tie back to the project management plan. So simply stated, we use communications technology to keep everybody in the loop. Depending on the project, up to 90% of the project manager's time is spent on communications, which is why it's critical that you have the right kinds of tools and processes in place. At the same time, team members frequently need to update each other on their progress using email, project management software, or social media. Communications technology directly impacts productivity and assures timely and accurate communication between team members. Factors affecting technology selection include project duration, timing, and frequency of communications. In Agile, we use sprints as one to two week time boxed project iterations requiring accessible and easily updatable tools. Do you need to procure new technology or systems or are there systems already in place that will work? What is the cost of acquiring new technology? And what is the experience of the team with the technology? Will there be a learning curve or need for training on communications technologies selected for the project? What is the proximity of the team members to one another? What are the team norms and values related to the types and use of synchronous and asynchronous technologies, including social media? 
Synchronous communications take place when all the parties are present at the same time. Examples are audio and video conferencing. Asynchronous communications take place when the parties are not present at the same time. Examples are email and blogs. You need to determine if a new technology can save time, reduce costs, or prevent mistakes, and if the increased complexity can be handled by the team and support staff to ensure the benefits outweigh the cost. Communications technologies may be specified in a project management plan according to organizational standards. Technology selections should also be based on project complexity to ensure appropriateness of the technology and alignment with the project needs using the criteria discussed in this presentation and in the assigned readings for this module. There are three categories of project complexity discussed in the assigned readings for this module. Low complexity projects might be managed using general purpose word processing and spreadsheet software using the special features for outlining, managing data, and inserting graphic objects. Medium complexity projects may need special purpose software for managing project activities, such as Microsoft Project and graphic software, such as Visio or Lucidchart. Other open source software, such as op Open Project, may suffice. And in high complexity projects, you may need more sophisticated project management software, such as Primavera P6, which is enterprise portfolio management software from Oracle. Using a, an organizational or enterprise management uh, package, forms can be created using XML tags that allow data to be extracted from the other documents. Files can be stored at a location that is accessible by all team members. Team members may be granted different levels of access, including view only, edit only, and ownership rights. And features like track changes and compare documents can help manage edits. We conclude the presentation with next steps. Be sure to work through all parts of the course materials for Module 7, including all content, activities, and assignments. The only assignment for this module is the next sprint. Looking ahead, be sure to complete all associated readings in the course schedule as you prepare for Module 8. Well, that brings us to the end of this presentation. As always, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please let me know. And until next time, this is Dr. Tim Boylow wishing each of you a pleasant learning experience, and I'll see you online.